Welcome everybody to Volcano Cup Rivalries. Volcano Cup is an international cricket tournament hosted annually by El Salvador Cricket Federation. Today we're looking at the national team of Costa Rica against the Central American All-Stars, an invitational 11. So coming into this tournament, coming into their first meeting, which would happen in the Volcano Cup 10, uh, the two teams had actually participated a total of six times, but they'd never actually met before. They'd always ended up playing in different tournaments. So they're coming into Volcano Cup 10, Costa Rica claiming the last time they had played, they were the champions in Volcano Cup 7, and Cass saying the last time they had played, they too were champions from Volcano Cup 9. So you're looking at two champions coming in against each other. Okay. Here is our Costa Rica team. This is from Volcano Cup 10, the first time these two teams are going to meet. Here we have our Central American All-Stars. Okay. Uh, now, actually, there were four teams. There were five teams in Volcano Cup 10. And although Costa Rica and Central American All-Stars were both coming in as previous champions, neither of them were rated in the top two. Panama had a higher world ranking than both teams, and they were probably favourites, although the oral experts from Trinidad and Tobago were an unknown quantity, but they were known They were known to be good, we just didn't know how good. But we were thinking it was going to be a first place playoff between Panama and oral experts, and Costa Rica and the All-Stars, they were going to be fighting for third place. And so it proved. Costa Rica's first game, they lost heavily to Trinidad and Tobago oral experts. Uh, 94, 94 for 7, they scored when they batted first, and Trinidad and Tobago chased that score down with 7 overs to spare. Halanka top scored with 27 for Costa Rica, and Murari, probably their best bowler of the years, had returns 4, 12 for 1. Cass had fared no better. Panama had batted first and uh, got 184 runs off their 20 overs. And Cass, in reply, I suppose had done reasonably well to see out the 20 overs, but they defended their wicket and they kind of crawled along to 76 and lost by more than 100 runs. Purav Turakia, a real stalwart of the Volcano Cup, he had best returns of four overs, conceded 26 runs and taken two wickets. Banner had top scored with 23. It was a tough opening game for both teams. They faced each other licking their wounds. Okay, so with Volcano Cup 10, this is game four, the first time Costa Rica and Cass meet. Costa Rica won the toss and put Central American All-Stars into bat. The top end of the innings, we saw Purav Turakia, he's an all-rounder, he scored 91, he really anchored the innings and there was a flurry of wickets falling beneath him. So they were kind of, by the time they got to the fifth wicket, they were looking at fairly even. Purav was in, he was settled, he was scoring, but Costa Rica would have been happy to see those wickets falling. Ross Alford joined him, he's the captain, he's the guy you see in the photo. He helped out Purav for a little bit there and together they put a flurry of runs towards the end of the innings and they finished up with 166. This is a total they would probably be, be content with. I think going into the break, Central American All-Stars would have been slightly happier than Costa Rica. It's an above score, but by above par score, but by no means out of sight. The bowling card, uh, Kanush, I think was the pick of the bonus. Conceded only 17 runs, took two wickets. Uh, so, came to Costa Rica's turn to reply. All right. Two early wickets fell very cheaply. Central American All-Stars had put on a big, nice big total, gotten two early wickets, and they would have been feeling very positive. Aditya and Badri then anchored, playing very similar roles to Turakia and Alford. They were the mainstay of the innings, and they turned things around. Then there was a flurry of wickets. One wicket leads to another, and now suddenly that great base that Costa Rica had laid for themselves were gone, and Central American All-Stars were back in it. But Nanda and Doddle had different plans. 23 from number 7, 25 from number 8, 
took them over the line, 167. Uh, the pick of the bowlers, you would have to say, would be... Difficult to say. Mikel was very economical. Malara took two wickets. The result, however, was Costa Rica won with four balls to spare. The expectations, the hype, had been lived up to a great game the first time these two teams met in Volcano Cup 10. Okay, 12 months later, we see them return. A couple of similar faces, if you look, if you refer back to the photos, a couple of sim familiar faces, Volcano Cup 11. Central American All-Stars were very much changed. Trinidad and Tobago were not coming back in Volcano Cup 11, but a couple of their players, individual players, had come across to play for Central American All-Stars. They are an invitational team. A few faces, Philip Barkhausen, the poor have this, a couple of, couple of stalwarts who racked up many, Miguel Vialta from El Salvador. Some of them were played for CAS many times, and a few new faces as well. They were definitely a better team than Volcano Cup 10. Okay. The other two teams in Volcano Cup 11 were El Salvador and Guatemala. It was a bit of a switch about from Volcano Cup 10 for these two teams of Costa Rica and CAS. In Volcano Cup 10, they knew they were fighting for third place. In Volcano Cup 11, they were definitely fighting for first place. El Salvador and Guatemala were ranked below them, and they were expecting to fight. El Salvador and Guatemala were competing for third and fourth, and Costa Rica and CAS were competing for first and second. And as with expectations, both Costa Rica and CAS, by the time they played each other, they'd both beaten these teams. They'd both wrapped up in nice, confidence-boosting wins. Okay, it was game six, and I'm going through this quickly because the way the format for Volcano Cup 11 had been slightly different. The t it would be a league, and then teams one and two would play each other in the final. Teams three and four would play each other for a third place playoff. So Costa Rica and Central American All-Stars, by the time they played each other in game six of Volcano Cup 11, they were both fairly certain they would meet each other in the final. So it was a bit of a dry run. Um, Costa Rica batted first, 165, again slightly over par, a, 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 a total you'd be happy with. Central American All-Stars never really quite got into gear. Banger and Turakir contributed some runs kind of in the, in, in the early, um, early middle order, but it was a comfortable win for Costa Rica. It was, however, not the last time they would meet. So now we're talking about the final. The final, the third time these two teams are going to meet in the space of 12 months, and they are in the final of Volcano Cup 11. Central American all starts bat first. Top half of the innings, not a great start. Purav Turakia, they're one of their better known batsmen. He hadn't, he had got to 10 and then out. Banger had made a bit of, a bit of runs, but then two run outs had really undermined the start. It was not what Central America North Stars had wanted. However, we see Abraham and Barkhausen both scored a bit of runs towards the end. They really pushed it up to 133. Overall, there were three runouts. It was not the total that Central America North Stars would have wanted, though they could have done, again, so much worse. They would have gone into halftime, not the happier of the two, but well aware that for a while there it looked like they would get a lot less. Costa Rica would have been happier at halftime. The bowling card, Murari very economical, but when three runouts, there weren't too many wickets to be had for the Costa Rica bowlers, but they would have been happy. They'd, they'd defended well, they'd bowled good lines, and they'd kept their opposition to a low target. The opposition that they'd beaten quite comfortably just yesterday. So, Costa Rica's reply. A couple of players making a start, getting into double figures, 18, 17, 15, but nobody really dropping anchor and getting into the innings. Second half of the innings, bottom half of the innings, there was nothing there. The Banger brothers had ripped through the bottom order, and apart from Morari swinging for a few boundaries, 
it was Central American All-Stars Day. They had defended 133 runs. Pick of the bowlers. Banger, very economical. S. Banger, very economical. Took two wickets. Ibrahim, very economical. And Banger, although he'd gone for a K. Banger, although he'd gone for a few extra runs, he had taken three wickets. Central American All-Stars had successfully defended 133 runs and were the champions of Volcano Cup 11. There's their captain, Purak Turakir, with the two ICC umpires, and the winning team celebrating their third Volcano Cup title. So there it is, two rivalries, Volcano Cup rivalries, Costa Rica and Central American All-Stars played each other three times. Costa Rica winning twice, Central American All-Stars winning once. However, Central American All-Stars winning the game that possibly mattered the most.